the last module we defined metaphor and we related it with our thought now we see how metaphor is linked with gender this is what we mean by gendering metaphor we often see different kind of contrast they are very common in writing and speech and if you see these contrasts closely male female differences are being used to define these contrasts now male female are from one domain and the contrasts are from other domain so we understand these contrasts by applying female male terms which are from other domain this is how they are metaphorical now what are such contrasts in all these contrasts which you can see on this slide every first term is taken as female and second is taken as male arts versus sciences biology versus physics functional versus formal qualitative versus quantitative poetry versus mathematics look vowels versus consonants peace versus war nature versus civilization emotion versus reason emotion nature peace see these things which are related with female female domain and civilization war and all powerful things they are related with male domain you can see this difference soft again soft versus hard and even we often say soft sex sinfe nazuk in urdu body versus spirit so this too has very deep meaning you can understand the underlying metaphor of all these differences as i give you example of time is money this person is thinking about time in terms of money so similarly in all these contrasts every difference is taken as difference of sex so every difference is sexual difference this is the metaphor behind all these uh, uh, contrasts and comparisons and pairings gender remains a source of metaphor this is how gender becomes metaphor this is gendering of matter uh, this is gendering of metaphor a source of metaphors for pioneering now see another example this time you will see that some activities of our life are related with biological functions of males and some are related with biological functions of females now see father of linguistics a person who introduced the discipline of linguistics first of all who laid down its boundaries its scope its framework domain etc he is called father he is the originator of fatherhood you know it is related with origin of family similarly creation males are related with creation the process of creation starts with semen transfer of semen now see seminal research this is the research from which further research is born and uh, similarly birth of new movement any new movement when starts we see a new movement has started is born beauty and care now the other things are related with mother try to understand their relationship whenever we talk about beauty and care we relate them with mother nature we say mother nature is very beautiful ecology and patriotism so when you talk about environment so you say 
save your mother earth and when you talk about patriotism you say sons of the soil like this motherland this is another term we never say fatherland we say motherland these metaphors show that all roles are biologically determined as i said in the beginning but for some these metaphors show balance and interdependence and harmony as men used women activities as source domain for their activities but on the other side we see clearly in these examples which i have discussed here we don't find such kind of interdependence uh, as we often say mard aur aurat ek gaadi ke do pahiye hain so it is not uh, a case like that a gaadi ke pahiye this is also a metaphor it shows interdependence complementarity so look but what happens in metaphors usually males can use women's domain to explain to describe their activities but women can't use males domain to explain or describe their activities so in this way there is no interdependence gender is there gender keeps them apart so otherness is maintained we conclude from this talk that metaphors represent and shape our thought about gender and world in general and gender is also part of our general life activities of our life same metaphors are interpreted differently in different cops in different social groups men as we have said that soldiers they use motherland and sons of soils etc environmentalists they they use the term mother similarly some use the term father so different social groups academicians organizations organizations they use different metaphors to explain their activities metaphor making is this is the bottom line highly gendered if we see in light of this discussion to understand in concrete terms how metaphor is highly gendered you will do this task here is a list of different persons love your mother and uh, there are related metaphors which are given in this list for example we have one metaphor at the end we in conclusion we have said that different cops organizations and people interpret metaphors differently so in this task what will you do here is one metaphor love your mother you will see how the following people soldiers and environmentalists mother day celebrators law makers how these people understand this metaphor 